Psalm 93, I start reading from verse 1. The Lord reigned his clothed with majesty, the Lord is clothed with strength. We are with he has given himself, the world also is established that he cannot be moved. Thy throne is established of all thou art from everlasting. The floors have lifted up, O oh Lord, the floors have lifted up their voice, the floors lift up their waves. The Lord is on high, is mightier than the noise of many waters, yea, than the mighty waves of the sea. The floods lifted up themselves against David. But the floods of this world, the waters of this world, the noise of many waters of this world was not able to overcome David because the Lord of David is mightier than the waters. And my prayer for you that is also that the, the waters of this world shall not overcome you in Jesus' mighty name. The waters of this world shall not overshadow your glory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The waters of this world shall not cover your destiny in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Because you serve a mighty God, I command every flood, every waters that is raging against you, I command them to be calm and I command them to fade away in Jesus' mighty name. Because you are serving a living God, I rebook every storms, every noise of many waters that is covering your star, covering your glory, covering your destiny, covering your job. And I command them to clear away. I command them to be lifted up. I command them to be calm. And I command them to fade away in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The confession of David is that the Lord is mightier than the noise of many waters. Imagine the noise of many waters. That was the affliction David was facing. The waters stand for something that covers glory. And you remember in the beginning, Genesis chapter 1 verse 1, it was the waters that covered the glory of the earth. So David was such in a situation that the waters of this world has covered his glory. Many waters of this world has covered his glory. But the good news is that the voice of God, the power of God, the God that you are serving is powerful than the noise of many waters. I rebook every stream, every river, every lake, every pond that is walking, that is roaring against your glory. And I command them to be calm. I rebook them and I command them to be still in Jesus' mighty name. I command your glory to come out, to appear out of the waters of life. I command your glory to come out of, out, out of the many waters, out of the rivers. Your glory that has been buried in the river, I command it to come out in Jesus' mighty name. Your glory that has been buried in the ocean, your marriage, your destiny, your babies, your husband that has been caged in the ocean, I command it to be loose and I command it to be set free by the word of God, by the blood of Jesus Christ, by the fire of the Holy Ghost, and by the name that is above every other name. The waters of life shall not cover you. The noise of many waters of life shall not swallow you. The waters of life shall not swallow your, you shall, you shall not swallow your destiny. You shall not be drawn in the waters of life. Your destiny shall not be drawn in the waters of life. Your head shall be lifted up like the head of a unicorn. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I rebook every queen of the coast, of the coast. I rebook every water spirit, every marine spirit, every Babylonian spirit, every Nephienta spirit in the waters. I rebook them. And with the spirit of heaven, I command their heads to be cut off. Receive your deliverance from the noise of many waters. The right hand of God shall draw you out of the waters of life. It shall draw your marriage out. It shall draw your finances out. It shall draw your destiny out. It shall draw your household out. In the, mighty name of, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The water shall part and you shall go to your destiny. You shall, you shall go to your uh, promised land. That shall be your portion. Receive your deliverance from the powers, from the dark powers in the waters. So shall it be in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.